Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. We got bedrooms. Yes, we do. We got bedrooms. How about you? Someone pointed out, by the way, we could totally have a, like a couple of, you know, a couple of walkways or doorways up here. You're not wrong. You're just, you're just not wrong. I'm actually thinking what I could do is like, Slap down this bridge area here. And then slap it down like this three-way. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what I'm saying. We remove this here. As you can see. We also have some people out and about. Reynolds sent by Hydraulic. Jeb. Heading toward the turtle. With a nice uh, mini turret and a couple of weapons. Might do some selling. We'll probably pop off this... Uh, Olinar Amalgamation Base for the 14 components. Maybe even hit this Hunter's Lodge. Not 100% sure on that yet. I haven't really decided. We will, in fact, see. Who knows anymore, though? You know, am I really paying attention to anything anymore? Probably not. Okay, so now what we gotta do is build not the Invisible Power Conduit, the Mini Bridge. Marble Bridge, excuse me. Don't get it twisted. Is that really a spot that requires a boardwalk? Yeah, it is. Okay, boardwalk there. And then what we do is remove bridge, bridge, bridge here. And then remove wall, wall, wall here and make this a three-tier door. It'll be great. You'll love it. I'll love it. We'll all love it. Except Van Howe. Van Howe will just continue to uh, wander around and consume unknown foods. He's comfortably buzzed. He feels tingly all over, though. Don't get it twisted. We do need to get rid of Damon's frailty eventually. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. It'll happen. It's just taking some time. Alright, so toss these down here. That'll be good. Now I feel like I need to move this over. But if I move this over, then I have to move this over. Now I can just move this over by one. Now don't... Empty cell surrounding. It's not surrounded by... Does the bridge count as non-empty cells? Because if so, that's ridiculous. I think the bridge might actually count as non-empty cells. But I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe you can't put it on itself? Yeah, what if we try moving it over here and then moving it over there? Let's see if that works. Look, I'm going to flanagle this until I get it somewhat right, okay? Mm, maybe I just want to move it, like, over here instead and take one away from the bridge segment. Ah, it's not going to look even any... no matter how I do it. Oh, I've goofed this up bad. I've soiled it. Oh, I've soiled it bad. Um, So I'd put it right here. No, oh, it should be one away on this side. Like that. But that's basically where it was before. Eh <laughs> Um. No, wait, that's not where it was before. That's actually not nearly where it was before. We now can make pulse charge munitions. Thank God. Something to distract me from this terrible life I've started. We can make charge weapons, basically. Except not here. Where, where do I make charge weapons? Here? Ah, there you go. Charge rifle, of course, is a good weapon. Historically good for any Rim Worlder. 15 damage. Okay, accuracy. The charge lance. Which is the charge version of a... Of a sniper rifle, basically. 30 damage is not bad. That's pretty decent accuracy as well. I should compare that to the, uh, the other rifle. There's another charge weapon. I think it's a charged turret we can make now, but... 37 range, 85 accuracy at medium. Compare that to the Ye old Snipper. Where's Ye old Snipper? Snipper, where you at, yo? There it is. 86, 88 at long range. Yeah, it's actually a lot better. <laughs> okay. So is the other thing a turret? Was I right about that? Yeah, energy gun. 
powerful spacer tech. In theory. Uh, okay, where, let's, uh, let's test it out somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where yet. But somewhere. I don't know, how good is it? Accuracy's kind of bleh. Burst shot of six is pretty good. Stopping power, decent, good, relatively good armor penetration. This cooldown and warm up look awesome, though. It looks like it's going to be spitting out energy beams. So, you know what? Let's put one down here for a test run. Does it need power? It does not seem to. So, we'll find out. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So... Let's take down the conduit and the bridge here. I guess we could move this over by one. Just spin it around. Move it over so it's like that. Then we could bring this in. That could work. Maybe. Take this down and replace it with marble heavy. We'll see, we'll see. This could all just be a fool's errand anyway. Freud is um, a little injured, a little unfed. Maybe we'll get some food instead of following Dismas around. Just a suggestion. You don't have to listen to me. In fact, I would dare say most people prefer not to anyway. Let's go ahead and run that line across here. That works for me. So we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to replace that with bridge. And then we're going to put marble heavy across here. Boom. And then we're going to do a three-tier, um, I'm thinking, well, invisible conduits across here, of course, once again. We'll wait till those are done. I get to replace the conduits here, too, when that's all did. All right, stuff's getting done, though. That's what's important. Uh, not blast doors, although they are cool. And, you know, a wooden door with, uh, 900 hit points is actually kind of awesome. Especially with it being a powered door. Door opening speed, 120%. Dude, that's equal to this door. Uh, cast warrior revenge. How dangerous is it? I'm gonna say not very. Looks like Trail got got it under control really quickly. All right, and then triple wooden doors. And then bridges all up on here. There you go. Was this necessary? I'm gonna go with no. Not not nearly at all. But it made me feel a little bit better about life. I mean, technically, someone might say, oh, hey, it's gonna make things so more, much more efficient to have the doors go up that... Yeah, that is true. But you said necessary. <laughs> and I, uh... And I persist. It was not. It was not a necessary upgrade, but it's going to be a nice one for for efficiency. I think. All right, and all the piping is back the way that it should be. I hope. Uh, let's see here. Temperature, no, climate. Blue pipe. Blue pipe's looking good. Red pipe. Looking swood. Keeping us at six. A bed bug. There's bed bugs, first of all. Hunting Digby for food. First of all, where's Digby? There's Digby. Hey, Digby. Do me a favor. Get in the home area. Bed bug continues to try to hunt Digby for food. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to do something about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of boys ready here. Got a lot of prisoners. Peta. 
Got an emergency? Oh, an extreme infection. He's gonna beat the patooey out of it. He ain't got nothing to worry about, dude. What is this hole on the bridge? Fix it. Alright, looks a little bit better at least. Digby! Digby went back out there! Oh no! Quick, give him the business! Agent Smith is working on healing them as they fight. I forgot I had the... I forgot I had the cannon. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, more precision, please. Actually, never mind. They're done. That's right. You ride snuggles into the sunset. Don't worry, Digby. You're gonna be okay. Are, are you joking me right now? Sorry, Freud. These bed bugs are being... Butthole bugs, so. Quick! Use suppression! Now they're all mad. My dudes. That's right, get suppressed. You fool! Trillium's finally fully healed. Beautiful stuff. My dudes. Also, finish this thing off. Come on. Oh, no, Barbarian! It's the paralysis, man. That's what really gets you. Windy is going to take care of you. Windy's going to drag you in, I see. I guess it is good that some animals still know how to rescue. Oh my god, these, this 10 quality is terrible, but <laughs> at least it's going to keep everyone alive. Barbarian is up, but Barbarian needs to go heal. Anyway, a little bit more efficiency here for, uh, for this room. It's pretty neat. We created a tricorder implant. That's pretty neat. I appreciate this. I don't even remember who I was supposed to put that into. I think... Rumabok? Rumabok, yeah. Rumo, get a tricorder, my dude. Um, neural highways, by the way, need to start going into some people. I'm thinking the two people who probably, I probably want to have them the most are going to be Trillium and... Can I put them in... Well, he's not here. Hydraulic isn't. Because I'd want them, I think, in combat bots first, but it also increases global work speed, so... Who else does the kind of work that would want this? Plant work from Epic is pretty good. Animal work from DZ, I don't think DZ would need it nearly as much. Doesn't mean he's not going to get it, it just means it's going to be down the line. Rumabot could probably use it a little bit, but I think Epic with his plant work could probably use the global work speed a little bit more than everyone else. How's old Barbarian? Patched up. How's Freud? Getting patched up. Digby can walk again. Everyone's gonna be fine. We're all singing in the streets. It's hallelujah for everyone. Don't even worry about it. Now who is getting... The bed bugs are eating each other! Absolutely disgusting. Well then, there's a lot of bed bugs. Holy cow, there's a lot of bed bugs. Yeah, we might need to hunt all those bed bugs. Holy jeez. Yo, me. Research? Now, let's hunt some bed bugs. Let's head out there. Watching TV? No, let's go hunt some bed bugs. There are way too many of them for me to feel comfortable about it. Is this a wild meadow app? This is ours. You better not let that bed bug to uh, the bug, 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 bug. Hi, how you doing? Yes, sleep there. This is perfect. Exactly what I want you to do. Barbarian! 
I love you too much. You need to go home. Um... Yeah, barbarian. My little puppers. Don't follow me to war. Twelve days old, he already wants to fight with the best of them. Beautiful. Actual beauty. One shot the protonum! Tell you what. Two more bed bugs. One there. One there. Get them, boys. Suck this. Yeah, buddy. These dogs don't play. All right, last one's way over here. We're going to knock it out. Because I don't trust them. And we can see why. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow they'll be all set to go. Alright, thank goodness for Coella here. Let's take a ride and make this a little bit faster. I don't know about the suppression cannon. I mean, the... The accuracy is obviously garbage. It is kind of fun, though. To fire it, at the very least. And by the accuracy is kind of garbage, I mean, oh boy, did you see that. Oh no, it's mad. It also has permanent brain damage. Ooh, even more permanent now. Damn. Dismas is not like Protonums. Fantasia's pregnant. That's more chinchillas for us. Now, do I want to... I can still consider getting the automatic mortars, but I really think we wait, we save resources, we get the better ones. And not invest in these. I'm kind of thinking that's going to be the way we go. Also, kind of thinking like, just do all the this, all the rest of this up. There you go. Just do it up, yo. And then I think we can concentrate up here again. This is not the best place for the crematorium. And then again, putting dragging corpses in here is also not the brightest idea. But I think it is still better here, where I can take advantage of all the, all the tools. Make the work go a tiny bit faster. I think it'll be great. I wait to be proven wrong. Alright, three robots laying in a bed. Waiting for stuff to happen. I guess you could just uninstall this stool. Anyway. And take out this ugly, ugly wire. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking the next step is get ready to extend these walls. Mm. Let's see then. How much space would I need? Let's slap this here, like probably here. So I want to go to about here. Let's peg that. A marble, marble, heavy bridge. Slap it up to here. Bring it over here. Deep bridge to bring it on home. Really should be making this stuff out of. Now that I think about it. Really should be making this stuff out of uh, sandstone because I think we still have more of that. Oh yeah.
There we go. Now I'll be able to fit another another wind, water mill generator in here. Not windmill. It'll be great. Then we could cut out all of this, remove the uh, thick wall, goof up some heavy boardwalk. It's pretty great. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. It's gross. Cassowary revenge. Van How. Like, Van How did you screw that up? All right, he's done it. Maybe go get patched up a bit, Van Al. I know what you're gonna say. He shouldn't be hunting. Just because you're right doesn't mean I have to acknowledge it, okay? Burn strange meats. We can burn scrolls, drugs, books, and apparel. We were savages. Shooting Frenzy from Shadow. Beautiful, wonderful. Just the guy who needs it. The non-violent dude. I love it. It's great. Alright, let's just... Just go straight across. We already know that's the plan. The eventual plan, at least. We could also expand uh, up to this corner here. Hey, we're at Batoral. The boys have made it. Anything to declare. A hen, cat, pigs, and rooster. Ooh, that is a roostery looking rooster. Look at him. I'll buy those. If I can sell enough stuff to get them, at least. Why is this medicine only worth 88? What's wrong with this medicine? Oh, 20 out of 60 hit points, that's why. I guess that makes sense. I have some hearts and kidneys. Some swarm shells. We got some guns we don't need. I knew we had some stuff to sell. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head what. They have a nano suit. They have a kitchen one bot, which I definitely do not need. Primarily because I could just build a better one. I'd love more of this beta poly armor, though. This is poor quality armor. Still 200% everything. <laughs> oh, it's nuts, man. What about the alpha poly? It's good quality. The only thing it's not 200 against is blunt damage. Good lord. And it's worth so much less. Oh, jeez. Nano suit? I mean, it's not bad. It's garbage compared to what we could have, but... Real cheese sandwich? Delicious? Sure. We have a rooster and a hen now. Go attack this outpost with it. If all else fails, just throw your cock at it. See, I got away with saying that because we got a rooster now. Anyway... Thinking, um, embrasures on this corner here. So we can slap another uh, turret up here. You know, I. Ooh. Ooh, look at it. Ooh. Let's get someone to man this for a second. Who wants to do the honors? First person to step over here gets to do the honors. Looks like it's going to be Volpy. Volps. You can eat your fine meal later. Check out this energy gun. I wanna... I wanna shoot the wall real quick, just to see what happens. Alright. Let's see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you know what? Relatively quick cooldown, too. Nifty. Full of nift. Frog Annie doing some of the uh, mine and dance here. I appreciate that. Gonna get us through in no time at this rate. See, we should be able to end this. Yeah, we'll probably be ending this on a battle. 
some might argue, the best way to end an episode. Anyway, 58% on the quarry. Generating map for new encounter. Hold on to your butts. Okay. We're here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just a bunch of tribals. I was honestly almost pretending to be worried there for a minute. It's literally just a bunch of tribals. Alright, let's go stomp the butts. You guys are going to seriously wish you never found advanced components. Plus, we got a river separating us. Dude, this is going to be easy rares. The easiest rares. Oh my god, I feel bad for... I feel really bad for you guys right now. Yes, shoot it, Reynold. That'll work. An actual massacre. This is what, uh... This is what the blue Avatar movie would have looked like. They had any, you know, had the gall to make it like this. Hey, where the hell is my dude? Oh no, were they? Oh, it's a quest, so it was dropped off. Hadoi, all those in as soon as possible, please. Thanks for the crap. Pick it up and go. All right. Okay, I don't want your sandstone chunks. But I will take your weapons. Especially since these steel equas and ironwood spears are worth some decent money, yo. Look at that. That's some decent change. Got some chairs and stuff. Heck yeah, I don't want your sleeping spots, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just head back to Batoro. Boom. Go. I don't know why I had such a hard time a few minutes ago remembering the name James Cameron. What the hell? Anyway. Dirk mining in a quarry. I almost read it as mining in a hurry, and that also would have been accurate. I don't like this lockjaw, though. She's, uh, menacing me a bit. But yeah, I think I'm... I like the steel energy gun. I guess the energy gun in general. Little pricey. Not gonna lie. Nine components. Very expensive. But, when you take into account that you got Spacer Tech uh, Insect Chitin Jackets milling about your property, it doesn't seem that bad. If it was automatic, it'd be amazing. Oh boy, we can build the suppression cannon next. Yeah, it's really too bad it's not an automatic gun. That would bring it from kind of oh, cool and okay to like 10 out of 10. Which is probably why they don't let you have it. Oh well. Can only slap down some shield generators. Hey, she mined all the way through already. Cool. Uh, whoop. Tear down the thick roof, please. And then throw on some sick walls. What? Excuse me? Boardwalk? I didn't want no weak-ass boardwalk here. We made an anti-logic matrix. What do I want a tier 5 of? Uh, uh, crafter would be good. Dude, a tier 5 builder would be awesome. So would a tier 5 hauler, though. We would never have to worry about stuff getting moved again. Tier 5 kitchen bot would be great, too, though. I don't know. We're doing pretty good on the kitchen in front now. Yeah, we always seem to have plenty of meals. Although, having something else that could make sushi and nagiri could be really good. Ooh, I don't know what to do. I don't think the ER bot would be that useful. Although a tier 5 crafter bot that could make all kinds of crafting recipes could be really good. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the hauler bot. I honestly think it's the most useful. If I could, I would cover my whole base with hauler bots. It doesn't sound that useful, honestly, but you know what I'm getting at here. Uh, sandstone chunks. So now what this is full of. Since I don't need those, I'll go ahead and uninstall this. The boys are back at Batoral. The boys have some stuff to sell. Say hello to our new uh, rooster and hen, by the way. All right. Sell some of these. Make a little bit of extra money. Not much, as you can see. And then... Yeah, let's go to the Hunter's Lodge and see what happens there. But that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0 because uh, that's been 30 minutes. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. Yeah, I've already feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming and it won't stop coming. Hey! We opened this area up. That's pretty good. We uh, started this expansion. That's pretty good. We got rid of the thick roof area. That's pretty good. And we want to fight. That's pretty good. Things are pretty good. Now, feel free to uh, criticize me on my uh, decision to build an AI, or excuse me, a uh, tier 5 hauler bot. Wait. There's no way Tinker can make a tier 5 bot. What are you making? Oh, you're making the robotics. I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done relax so socially. Go ahead and prioritize this workbench. We're going to get a tier 5 hauler, dudes. It's basically going to be teleporting things around. It's going to be great. I'll see you in the next video after you've, you know, thoroughly gotten the complaints of building a tier 5 hauler bot out of your system. See you next time.